Why, hello there, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and I will be your host, Timely. So, people have been asking me how to raise the rating and whatnot, and they're like, I'm stuck. I need to raise my rating. Well, in my last videos, I haven't been really talking about raising rating and whatnot, and I've only really been talking about, like, stat explanations and diminishing returns and mechanics and whatnot so i guess i could help you guys out and trying to raise your rating and things that i do um of course yeah i kind of you know spend quite a bit of money on this game but i still do all the free to play stuff as well trying to get all my gems and trying to you know squeeze everything i can get so i'm going to drop some tips that i wish i knew when i first started playing so um First things first is work on that career, you know, try to do your career as much as possible. It's free gems. You sell all your stuff in your career on the market. People actually need that stuff. So I usually make the honey banana and then I can sell that in the store to gunslingers and whatnot because gunslingers are a pretty popular class and maybe they're, they don't have food because they're a superstar and they open shop and they, they, got, they uh, buy that shit up, you know, it's great. So even for me, which does cuisines and open shop, um, I actually need some stuff I need from uh, Superstar, which is the delicate uh, celebrity products. We go to the next page, and I actually need, uh, no, this musical album right here, which is 16 gems, which increases my damage dealt by 1.6%. So that's actually something I buy pretty uh pretty frequently so there's actually demand for these things guys so work for your, work on your careers um sell this stuff on the open market for gems it's free gems so why not um also um doing all of your activity and whatnot get that mirage potion from there and then get the draconic roll from there you can sell that on the market for 20 gems as well so that's also free gems and then you get your 50 gems from the third present, and then you get your 50 gems from the fourth present. So you get like a nice 120 gems from doing all of your activity and whatnot. And then you, after you keep on stacking your career stuff, you can sell that for a lot in the, uh, in the store as well. Like I usually wait till I have a stack of like 20 um, cuisine foods, and then I bulk sell it at once. And then it usually, I usually sell it for like a hundred gems. And then I also, uh, I do my shop as well. So I do my open shop and I just have like 250, 256 gems just chilling in there. I'm not gonna re redeem it yet unless I wanna actually do something with it. So every time I have gems in my inventory, I always have the feel the need to spend it. So I feel like keeping it in here and not being able to see it will help me, you know, not spend it on really stupid shit so yeah guys work on that career uh, my next tip for you ooh, my next tip for you is the is the class transfer guy i really wish i knew about this when i first started out was that you can transfer your stats and all your gear and like, there have been so many times where I had, like, an orange stat, like, magic attack, or orange stat, like, fire attack, orange stat, I don't know, orange stat, in, um, intellect, you know? Stuff like that. Stuff that I can't use on my gunslinger, and then I would dismantle it for the, for the lost whisper. Well, that was a huge mistake, because you could convert those, you can put that stuff on your gear, and then convert them to another class, and then use it and then convert it back to your main class and i didn't know that so this is something that i wish i knew when i first started out and i could have you know progressed with my build a lot quicker if i knew these things so there's a little uh there's a catch though and here's how it works so say i have something on a piece of gear and it gives me it's like an orange stat um, intellect, okay, and it's something that I don't use on my gunslinger, and I want to convert it to my, I want to convert the stat to my gunslinger, so, if I'm like a blade master, and then I put the intellect on my blade master, 
And then I switch back to my gunslinger. Well, that stat of intellect is not going to change to strength. Okay, does that make sense? Because it only converts stats that are like beneficial to that class and then converts it to a stat that's beneficial to the new class you're transferring to. So if it's a, if it's like a garbage stat that's not that can't be used by Blade Master, it's not going to convert it to your gunslinger. All right. So what you have to do is if you have like an orange stat like water attack and you want to switch it to your gunslinger, well you're going to have to switch to your soul dancer and then put the stat on your soul dancer and then switch back to gunslinger okay so that's how it works it's not gonna work like oh i'm gonna put a water stat on my blade master and switch to a gunslinger and expect it to turn into wind attack so it won't work like that so always keep that in mind when you're transferring stats because there's a 24 hour cooldown on this and if you mess up you have to wait 24 hours to try again so keep that in mind pro tip right there guys so if you get like a garbage stat that you can't use, like elemental attack, magic attack, physical attack, um, strength and intellect, um, don't throw those away. If it's higher, if the stat is higher than the one that you use, that that is that that is like conversion from the other side, then I would replace it and you use it. You know, say like if you get like a thirty-five intellect. A juicy 35 intellect orange stat and you have like a 25 strength green stat I would replace that strength with that orange intellect in a harpy and then class transfer and then go back to my main class so that's how it works you know get those get those stats man don't throw those away don't be like me <laughs> uh, okay so now that you guys know about that there's also the mantras, okay? The emblem mantras. You could use these. They increase your stats on your gear, okay? They're very useful. I don't know if it's a mistranslation because it says it can be placed on any part of the gear to increase a random stat of that part by 150%. So it says random stat, but if you look closely, it increases the stat of everything. So I'm not sure if that's a mistranslation or if they if that's how it's and it's that if that is how it's intended to be used i'm not sure so if anybody who plays the chinese game knows feel free to let me know but yeah i would work on these mantras and you can pretty much get them free to play they give you free mantras every day and to convert your mantras you go to the draconic emblem shop which is this guy over here and then you go to the gear emblem and then you can change out your mantras. So 10 blue ones get you a purple one and then eight purple ones gets you an orange one. So always try to work on them mantras, very useful. And they don't really tell you where the mantra guy is. So that's him, uh, Vegas Clover. You go to Vegas Clover for the mantras. All right, and then lastly, finally, for my best tip that I'm going to give you guys, the best, okay, so. <clears throat> the best tip that I wish I knew is leveling up your core and there's an easy way there's an easy way to do it okay and you don't really have to spend mass amount of money to get all your shit to level 11 okay most of this fire level 11 fire I, I did that free to play and well not free to play partially pay to win and free to play but I'll tell you guys how I did it so <clears throat> if you go to your map there's a guy over here, and his name is Special Change Gem. Okay, this guy lets you change your gems to any element you want for 50 gems. Now what I like to do is when I'm doing my dragon hunt and all my free-to-play events and I get all my gems, I usually wait until I craft level 9 gems of any element, and then I can bring them to this guy to convert it all to strength or all to dexterity or wind gems. And then I have a very much easier time leveling up my gems this way. So always keep that in mind. If you have like a insight gem or a constitution gem that you're not using, they're not useless. You could actually transfer them with this guy and convert them to the stat you actually need. So, and it's only 50 gems too. Pretty, pretty cheap. So yeah, guys, his name is Shin Kid. So... 
get going transfer those gems out um try different cores man just because you're stuck with one core doesn't mean you can try new ones so it'll cost some gems but at least uh you're not stuck if you if you fucked up on your core there's there's a way you can change it and you can ch you can change later so this is real this is a really nice feature here and i don't know if um all the new players know about this guy because i sure didn't and i wish i did so yeah i think that's everything and i really hope these uh these tips uh, helped you guys out. I have to get going now. Peace.